Siddha Purana is the great story of the Devas and the Asuras wanted to get Amrita, Amrita immortality. From where? So they went to Vishnu and asked. Vishnu said, you can get it. But it must be a national program and not a party program. National program means the opposition party also joins and together they do it. If there is a sense of togetherness alone, you will be able to succeed in it. And how can I to get the Amrita? Ah, you have to churn the milky ocean of the heavens. But why churning? Many, many attractive, enchanting things would come, but you should never accept anything. Immediately give it as gift to others. You don't, and you go on churning. Now, how can you churn an ocean? That churner is Mandara mountain. Where is the rope to churn? Ah, it's not this uh, electrical. Uh, that is only when you are churning a cup of milk. Churn. <laughs> now, where can you get the rope? So, Vasuki, a great serpent of the or the heavens offered himself, I shall be the rope. And he became the rope. And both of them stood on both sides and started churning. As they churned, many, many precious, rare things came out. All of them were immediately distributed to the various deities and gods and Indra and others. And they went on doing this, careless of what comes out of it, until Amrita comes out. And Amrita came. This is the story. This has got nothing but mystical story, which has got reference to your own self unfoldment. In the mind, when it is sattvic thought, it's milk. Pure. Milk cannot stand any dirt or fear. It's pure white. A little one piece of salt, the whole thing goes fast. A little summer, gone. Thus, it is sattvic. In the sattvic mind, you turn the sattvic mind clockwise and anti-clockwise, called a reflection. Think in terms of the scriptural thing, and then you argue against it. Ah, which God, where God was, but then there must be some intelligence. But ah, you just, this is called a reflection. By this reflection, as the mind becomes purified more and more, uh, risen from the present state of consciousness, many, many riddhis and siddhis, many, many powers will come to you. So then a mind, as it goes on churning, it becomes quieter and quieter and quieter in reflection. And quieter the mind, the greater powers of the mind come to manifest. Faculties which are not at this moment available to us, which is essentially inherent in every mind, comes to express. And when they express, don't identify with it, then you cannot go beyond. Thus powers of seeing the future, or powers of watching and understanding the thoughts of others, this kind of powers come to you, but don't use it. Immediately surrender it to the Lord as an offering, and you proceed yours. Thus various things came. One of them that came was winged heart. Uchai Shravas is the name of that horse. And immediately they offered it to Indira. Among the horses, I am the winged horse. Ayravadam Gejendranam. Among the Gejendra, among the great elephants, I am the white elephant, which is another thing that came out. And the white elephant, when it came out, immediately given to Indira. Naranam Chanarajvam. Among mankind, I am the sovereign emperor, in the sense that he has got all the might and glory and the power over the others. I am the king. 